What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brolic John with another episode of How to Play. And on this episode, I am very, very excited to bring you guys another team that performed well in the last two regionals. Um, I believe at Lily, this team top 16 uh, Lando I top 16 at Lily. And then at the past regional Toronto, my good friend and streamer, Mr. Moxie Mentz, was able to get some championship points with this team. So I'm really excited to bring this team to you guys and feature it on the channel. Now, this team is centered around two main themes. Unga and Bunga. Y'all know them well. Ain't nothing new around here. Y'all know how the channel vibes out. But more importantly, Landorus Eye offers this team so much amazing coverage. Let's get into why. So, this team likes to show off a couple of different modes here. We have Urshifu plus Iron Hands. Fake Out plus Urshifu. It's a tale as old as time, right? Even when you're facing down Fluttermane, which is super effective into both slots, we have Terra Water and Terra Poison. So, with Terrasalization, we can force our opponent into some really, really, really tough decision making, right? Mainly protecting Urshifu, Terra Water, the Iron Hands, and go for Heavy Slam. Because they can't protect the Flutter because they have to respect the fact that Urshifu is there. Now, we have Support Ogre Pond in the back. This is a particularly bulky Ogre Pond with Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Follow Me, Spiky Shield. We have Arcanine with the Choice Band. Um, Terra Fairy Arcanine. Nothing really fancy here. This isn't reinventing the wheel. It's just a solid Pokemon. Really, really strong Rock Slides. Really good versus Tornadus teams. Really good versus like Psy Spam, things like that. Um, Fluttermane is booster speed on this team, which is really, really powerful for us. Basically, it's going to allow us to have speed control in the end game as long as we outlast Tailwind and or Trick Room. And last but not least, Lando Eye. So in testing, this team had a lot of issues with Heatran. Before the Lando I, there was a, uh, I believe it was Chen Pao was the last slot on this team. But that team struggled way too much with Heatran. So Lando I was the answer. No Terra available, Earth Power one hit KO. Terra Fairy, Terra Sludge Bomb one hit KO. This thing absolutely destroys Heatrans. And as an added bonus, hit an Iron Hands with an Earth Power from Lando and see what happens, guys. Lando I is just a really, really unique meta call with really, really unique offensive coverage. Having Taunt on Lando is really awesome as well. This is really good into those pesky Dusclops teams um, and some of the other common Trick Room setters, especially in open team sheet format where Pokemon like Cresselia are not always carrying Mental Herb. Sometimes they're Rocky Helmet, right? So this team is super fun. It was built and developed by a combination of Reiki VGC, John Zoo and Mr. Moxie Mentz. You can go and follow all three of them on Twitch.tv. Just search up those names. Um, I'm just here to show you guys the team and to pilot the team for the first time. This is my first time ever playing the team. So I'm hoping that these games come out amazing. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy these games. I was really, really excited to feature Lando I for you guys. Now, please, please, please leave a comment, a like, a sub. Let me know what Pokemon you got boys. You guys want me to feature next on the channel. I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, here we go. And let's see what we got here. So we got a bulky team with Sinisha, Galarian, Moltres. I actually... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hate playing against these teams. They're quite troublesome in best of one. Because oftentimes you're gonna find yourself just... um. Just really having to like guess Terras and things of that nature. Um, which could be pretty bad here. They have a Mian Shao with some pretty good fake out pressure it has on it. Um, trying to think of what I can do to cover for most of what they're bringing here. Um, Heatran. Uh, I feel like Fluttermane plus um, Urshifu might be pretty decent here. Um, they do have fake out pressure. I could bring my own Iron Hands as well. I feel like that could be decent. Maybe maybe Fluttermane plus Arcanine could be pretty decent here. Like a Rock Slide pressure onto whatever they're leading could be good. But also versus the Men Shao and the Iron Hands, it's a little bit grief. Um, I'm thinking Water Pond here with um, 
with uh, Lando in the back and Iron Hands in the back. So Lando is really good for beating Heatran on this team. So I definitely think bringing the Lando is really, really good here, especially because at some point they're going to, they're going to be set up with their, um, they're going to be set up with like their Sinisha switching in and out. Um, I'm considering maybe I should have led the Lando. Um, they go Sinisha plus Mian Shao here. So they're dedicated, they are dedicated to Trick Room here, right? Um, so we're gonna be playing in Trick Room. The question just becomes, like, how good or bad is that for us? Um, given the Pokemon that we brought. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that it's terrible here. Uh, but I am down to go for a Dazzling- I could Terra Fairy Moonblast the Teacup, but I don't know if that picks up, right? I'm gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam, and I'm gonna go for a Spiky Shield on the Ogre Pond. I'm assuming they will Fake Out plus Trick Room here. Um, so if I do this combination of Spiky Shield plus Dazzling Gleam, that should just go ahead and pick up the Min Chao here. Um, they go for Terra Water on the Sinistra. Um, that's actually pretty good for me, right? Because I have Iron Hands in the back, so that could be decent. Um, it also means he's now weak to our Grass Attack from Ogre Pond, which is pretty nice. Um, he goes for Fake Out into the Ogre Pond slot. That's going to activate our Spiky Shield. Let's go, gamers. All right, now Dazzling Gleam should pick up the Men Shao here. Um, it's going to be decent damage into the Sinisha. Nothing crazy. Now, the only issue is they will be setting up Trick Room here. So we're going to have to play some turns under Trick Room, and that's just unfortunately how it is. Um, but let's see how this turn goes. Let's see who they bring out here. I'm assuming they're going to bring out the Flutter Butter, I mean not Flutter Butter, Iron Hands, and then I'm going to have to make some decisions about what I'm doing with my Flutter Main, whether it's just switching out, or I could go for something like Follow Me, actually. Um, that looks like it could be a pretty good play. Um, oh, they bring their own Flutter Main. Are you Booster Speed? <laughs> oh, it's Room Service Flutter Main. Okay... Okay, okay, okay. So, Room Service Flutter Main, right? Room Service Flutter Main. So, <sighs> that's gonna be a tough one, huh? Um, they could go for Rage Powder too, which is pretty insane. Um, I think I would like to go for Moonblast into Sinistra here. Um, and then Horn Leech into the Sinistra. Because what's this guy gonna go for here? I could go Terra Water, but is that throwing? I think I just Horn Leech the- I think I doubled the Sinisha slot here. They're gonna go for Strength Sap. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. Um, now, are they gonna one-shot my Flutter with Shadow Ball? Oof, this is scary. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, Flutter holds! Thank you, Flutter! They actually crit me! Oh, lord. Nice crit back! Oh, uh, crit back would have been insane. Rocky Helmet, okay. Alright, so now Moonblast is going to... Going to it's actually going to do a good amount of damage here. Um. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I think I have to sack the Flutter main here. So I think I am going to go for Dazzling Gleam. And I think I am going to Spiky Shield the Ogre Pond here. Because here's the thing, is I can bring in Iron Hands on the Dead Flutter slot, and I can actually pressure this Sinistra with a knockout, right? He wanted to heal off of my Ogre Pond, I'm not gonna let him. I'm hoping they doubled Ogre Pond here. No, they just doubled the Flutter. It would've been sick if they doubled Ogre Pond, but I think I'm still getting what I want here. Because now I can bring in the Iron Hands, and I can feel really, really good about the position that I'm in right now. Um, so this thing's got Shadow Ball. I think I'm gonna Terrastalize the Iron Hands here. I wonder if I'm slower than Sinistra. I wonder if I'm slower than Sinistra. Um, uh, I mean... I think I go Terra Water. Wild Charge the Sinistra slot. And then I am going to go for a Ivy Cudgel. Um into the flutter main here yeah i think that's okay because the flutter main might protect 
Ooh, the Sinisha swaps. Is this Protect on Fluttermane? I can still crit my Ivy Cudgel, and that'd be really, really good. Um, okay, so they got me a little bit pinned here. Booster Energy Iron Hands. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. I'm actually a little bit pinned now. Um, because I went Terra Water. Oh, man. Are, are they just protecting the Flutter, though? They're not protecting Flutter. I could have just Heavy Slammed your Flutter main for free there. I guess I should have made that play, huh? There's Moonblast into Iron Hands, does like zero damage. Uh, if I get a crit, we're still in this. No, oh wow, I got a crit and he lived. Okay, interesting. So, he can fake out here. Um, only one turn of Trick Room. So the thing is, is he can fake out, but he can't like... I think he's gonna Wild Charge. So I'm gonna swap the Iron Hands into Lando here. And I am going to Spiky Shield, I think is the play. Yeah, that's the play here. Because I want to pressure their Iron Hands with my Lando on this following turn here. Because um, I think they're going to Wild Charge. I think they're going to Wild Charge my my guy here. I'm just hoping that Moonblast goes into Ogre Pond, because if Moonblast goes into Lando, things get really scary. Oh, they just Swords Dance. Um, okay, that's pretty bad, but Moonblast, okay. Okay, so now we should have the faster Pokemon here, uh, because that Flutter Mane needs to switch, right? So I think from here, I can simply Earth Power the Iron Hands, and I can Horn Leech the Flutter Mane, which might switch into um, Sinistra, right? So I think we go for the Horn Leech into Flutter Mane here. Okay, so the Sinistra is coming in, but this is fine. I wonder if my Ogre Pond is faster than my Lando. I guess it doesn't matter too much here. Hospitality is going to heal up their Iron Hands. Okay, okay, okay. Earth Power into Iron Hands should do Monka. Oh my god! Lando, I hello. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. I forgot your name. Okay. Oh, come on, Rocky Helmet. Cut it out. All right. Well, <laughs> I think that one's gonna do it, folks. Wow, Lando, I hello. Who hurt you, my friend? Somebody hurt this poor Lando Eye. Oh my lord, Lando Eye. Hello. Alright, well, we just go for Earth Power here, because he can't double target, and we IV Cudgel, and that's GG's. Yeah, that'll do it, guys. We get our first win on the books. Yeah, shout out to my opponent. Yeah. Alrighty, next game of the day, and we have a very popular team going around right now. So this is essentially D Knight Chen Pao, but with Giraffe in the back. Um, this is like Miracle Seed, Rillaboom, um, Assault Vest on the Heatran, I think. Um, this is a very, very popular team going around right now, and it's very difficult to deal with. Um, that said, I should have some options that are fairly decent into this matchup. Um, Lando in the back is really, really strong here. Um, leading Flutter Mane is really strong as well because it allows me to have an option that outspeeds everything that they have. Um, the question then is just I want something that pressures the Dragonite, right? So I think leading Flutter Mane is good. Um, do I want to go Flutter Mane Arc? Uh, I think I do actually. I think Flutter Mane Arc is probably decent enough here. Um, I think we want Water Pond in this matchup. Uh, assuming that that's Water Urshifu, which it really should be. Um, then the question becomes Lando or Iron Hands here. Um, he doesn't have many... I mean, I think the Lando is actually quite good in this matchup. So I think I am just going to bring the Lando, even though Chen Pao is actually a nightmare for us here. So we'll see how my opponent plays it. Um, if they lead Chen Pao Dragonite, unfortunately this match is going to come down to a little bit of a 50-50. Um, but we'll see how it goes, because there's some ways I can play around that 50-50, I think. Um, especially since this Arcanine should have a little bit of speed on it. I didn't build this team, 
Uh, but I believe uh, Mr. Moxie meant to put some speed on this boy. So they actually go Rillaboom plus Urshifu. Rillaboom plus Urshifu. Okay. Alright, Rilla Ursh, Rilla Ursh, Rilla Ursh, Rilla Ursh. So now... So now here's the thing. Um, they can go Terra Water. If I'm E-Speed, am I E-Speed on this Arcanine here? Because the thing is, is they could fake out though is the issue. Um, I can just Terra Fairy... They could double me up. They could be Scarf as well. Oh, this is such a 50-50 turn, right? Um, I think Moonblast into the Urshifu slot. I think Terra Fairy could be a mistake. <sighs> um, what Terra are you? You're also Terra Fairy. And you do have Extreme Speed as well. And then switch into Ogre Pond here. This could be really bad, but I think this is okay. I mean, my only thing that I'm scared of is maybe they go like Grassy Glide into Aqua Jet. And I'm wondering if that picks up my Fluttermane. This Fluttermane should be pretty physically bulky here. Um, I'm hoping that the Terra Fairy picks up even a Terra Water Urshifu. Um, that's the Hopium Copium here. So let's see what they go for. Hopefully it's just Surging Shrites into Ogre Pond, but we'll see. Oh, they're going Aqua Jet plus Glide. I don't think it picks up though. Oh, thank you, Flutter. Thank you, Flutter. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Thank you, Flutter. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Also, thank you, Intimidate. And without the Intimidate, I think that double up picks me up, honestly. But the Intimidate there is just absolutely huge, right? Um, just having that Intimidate there is just really huge. And now what's good is I'm really fast, but I also have Follow Me support. Oh, so they bring out Dragonite, right? Okay, so given that you're bringing Dragonite out... Um, this is tough. Um, I think I want to bring out Arcanine, and I want to Spiky Shield this turn. I'm hoping he commits to, to Terra Normal on the Dragonite here. Um, the thing is, is I want it to follow me, but he can E-Speed before the follow me, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that interaction works. Or is it just whoever's faster? Um, they switch out the Rillaboom into Chen Pao, I assume, here. Oh, Heatran is their last Mon. Okay, interesting. Alright, so we have a win condition. We just need to beat the Dragonite here. But they did not Terra, so I'm pretty worried about what's happening here. They actually went for Aerial Ace. Okay. So they're presumably locked into Aerial Ace here. Um, which is pretty good for me, I would argue. Um, I can now go for Rock Slide... And I can just cuddle, cudgel the Heatran slot here. It could just switch into Rilla. Um, but there's so many different ways that this can go, right? Because they still have Rilla in the back. Um, I'm going to cudgel the Dragonite slot here. Because I know for sure this way the attack goes off. And if they go Terra Normal, um, then the cudgel will do a lot here. So they're Terra Fairy, they're Heatran. Um, that's okay. Lando should be pretty good into this in the back. And we also have Banded Rock Slide that's about to go bananas here. So Ivy Cudgel into Dragonite's not gonna do that much. I think Rock Slide picks up from here. As long as we hit Rock Slide, I think we win the game. Okay. Okay, so Dragonite is down. That's pretty good damage into the Heatran here, which makes me feel really, really good. Um, let's see what they go for here. Yes! Arcanine! Let's go! Flinchy boy! I'm just a flinchy boy, flinchy boy, I'm not your boy toy, flinchy boy. Okay, so here I'm thinking I can sack Fluttermane, right? Because Fluttermane has kind of served its usage. Um, He can grassy glide me and stuff, but I mean, he's leftovers. I'm just going to go ahead and Ivy Cudgel the Heatran here. I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel the Heatran here. Because I think their Rillaboom should be targeting my Arcanine here. And this gives me an, an opportunity to reset my Intimidate. So if you snipe Flutter, then you snipe Flutter. It's just completely fine. They just fake out the Ogre Pond. Okay, but what are you going for? Heat Wave? Earth Power. Okay. That's okay. This is fine. We always figured we were sacking Flutter here. 
Um, but this is just confirmation, right? So now I get to bring in Intimidate here. Um, I think... Huh. Bring in the Intimidate. Or do I just bring in the Lando here? <clears throat> Um, alright, I'm gonna bring in the Lando here, actually. I think this is my safer play. Um, I'm gonna bring in the Lando. I am going to Sludge Bomb the Heatran slot and follow me. Because he's gonna go for a Glide or something like that. And Arcanine plus Lando always beats Rilla. And if he doesn't glide and he goes for something else, then follow me should still be really good here. Um, I think the best play my opponent can make is protecting the Heatran. That's what we're scared of here. Um, but let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. I think follow me is really good right now. Ogre Pond's pretty bulky. Um, so I should be able to take a, um, a grassy glide here. So let's see what they go for. Show me no protect. Okay, they showed me no protect. Oh, that's not enough to pick up, though. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Um, I need my Lando to live a hit from this Heatran here. Um, Heat Wave shouldn't kill. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think I have my opponent pinned, but it's a bit tough. Uh, we gotta bring in the Arcanine. So Lando is always faster here, right? So I think I do have a win condition here. Um, I think I have a win condition. And I have to make sure... Okay, so there's no grassy terrain. So there's no priority. Okay. No grassy terrain, meaning no priority. So I can just go for... Um, Sludge Bomb into Heatran. And Flare Blitz... But if Flare Blitz doesn't pick up... No, no. Flare Blitz is going to pick up, right? Um, the Rilla. This is fine. The I can lose... I guess I should just protect. I should have just protected. I gave myself a possible lose condition. Which is that Flare Blitz does not knock out this Rilla Boom. But I just don't see how it doesn't, you know? I just don't see how it doesn't. Yeah. So Sludge Bomb's gonna knock out the Heatran here. We're looking pretty, pretty good. Um, now I just need Flare Blitz to do what it does. And we should be okay. I'm assuming I'm faster than this Rilla. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, Flare Blitz banded. And that's just GG's. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Shout out to my opponent. That was actually a pretty well-played game. Um, I think I just made a couple of really, really nice reads, and that was able to give me the win. Um, but that is a very meta opponent, and GG's to me. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. And we are playing uh, some nonsense, because uh, there's a Clefairy here. There's no Trick Room Setter, though. Actually, I guess Flutter Main's the Trick Room Setter here, huh? <laughs> I guess Fluttermane is the Trick Room Setter, huh? Um, this looks like it would be a good Iron Hands plus, um, Urshifu here. Because we can fake out the Clefairy and just hyper-target whatever the partner Pokemon is. Um, they do have a Heatran. Um, is Arcanine any good here? Um, it's bad if they lead hands. I just don't think they'll lead hands. Alright, I think, yeah, I think Urshifu plus Iron Hands is a pretty good lead here. Um, the question is, what do I want in the back? Um, part of me does want Ogre Pond here with the redirection, the cudgel, um, being able to go plus one special defense if I need it. Um, Lando's really good into Hands and Heatran and Rillaboom, really. And then maybe I do want some speed control here, um, but if they set up Trick Room, things will get insanely rough for me. Um, but I think this is the play. I think this is the play. And we'll see what they go for here. Um, but yeah, this could be this could be rough. Because I'm assuming this is like Clefairy Fluttermane, right? And then they go follow me Trick Room. And then this just really... I just don't know if they're going to Terra Fairy because they're scared of Wicked Blow. Or if they're just going to attack me. So they go Rillaboom Fluttermane. Rillaboom Fluttermane. Okay. Rillaboom Fluttermane. 
I think I have to double target. I think I have to double target the flutter main here. What are you? Are you booster speed? Booster special attack. Um. This is going to be scary. So, how can I win? I have to Terra the Urshifu. Terra the Urshifu. Because what if it's Trick Room is the thing? He doesn't want Trick Room in front of hands, though. He does not want Trick Room in front of hands, right? So, I think Terra, Poison, Wicked Blow, and then... Fake out the Rilla in case Rilla's going for something else. This could be a big throw by me. It's just they got me kind of pinned-ish. Um, but we'll see what happens here. They did not terrestrialize their Flutter, which is interesting, right? Now, the worst case scenario here is they fake out my Urshifu and then just like set up Trick Room or something silly. Oh my god, dude. I should have just... Oh, man. No way, dude. Why would you make that play? Oh, my God, man. It's so cringe. It's such a cringe play. It's so cringe, dude. I could be swapping Iron Hands into a freaking Flutter main, dude. Oh, you would have gave me that? For I should have just... Why didn't I just heavy slam the Flutter? Why didn't I just heavy slam? I had the right play. I just need to double up. I'm so mad at myself. What made me... I, I just, like, tried to make a hard read that the Rillaboom's just gonna go for an attack. Because I'm like, yeah, my opponent's, like, kind of pinned here. But I guess my opponent just didn't feel pinned. I'm not sure why they felt safe. I really don't agree with their play. They swap out the Rillaboom into what here? Heatran? This could go really good for me depending on what they're about to do. Do you just Moonblast the hands again? That's so weird. That is so incredibly weird. I just don't... I mean, I guess we just trade... Hands for Fluttermane? And they still have their Terra, I don't? Um... That's tough, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough. Um, I think we gotta bring in Lando here, and we're going to have to call... We're gonna have to call some stuff here. So there's Iron Hands. Alright, so I think Double Protect is in order here. Okay, this is still winnable, but I just cannot believe that I would have had, like, the most omega freest turn one, and I just didn't go for it, man. It, we, we made an aggressive trade. It's just, like, I don't know why, like, my stomach was just, like, he's gonna attack with Rilla. He's gonna, like, high horsepower the hands and, like, dazzling gleam, because that might pick up both slots, you know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking he's, like, gonna try to win the game. Um, I will say him having Heatran Iron Hands in the back gives us definitely a chance to win here. It 100% gives me a chance to win here. Because his Heatran can't knock out either slot of mine. And he's got Rilla in the back. I got Flutter in the back. I believe I'm favored. Uh, I'm gonna get his Terra, which turns out to be his hands. And it's Terra Grass. This is so fine. This is so fine, right? Is this Fake Out? Or are you wasting Protect on your Heatran? If they protect the Heatran, this is so fine, right? Um, I think Sludge Bomb plus Wicked Blow would knock out the Hands, but we'd have to see. So Hands goes for Fake Out. Now, what's Heatran gonna go for here? Heatran, Heat Wave, Earth Power. Okay. So you- Oh, Earth Power into Urshifu. Interesting. Okay, so... There's a couple of ways I could go about this, because Rillaboom is in the back, right? 
So I can close combat the Heatran slot here and then catch Rilla on the switch in. Because I think Rilla is switching in here. Or I can double the hands. And get guaranteed damage. Well, he can't fake out, right? Oh, this is so tough. Do I want to CC the Rilla or do I want guaranteed damage? I mean... The thing is, is Iron Hands actually isn't pressuring me. So I think I will close combat the Heatran slot since he can't protect. And I'll go for Sludge Bomb into hands here. Because what is he going to do? Wild Charge my Urshifu? It's kind of just fine, right? Alright, so Sludge Bomb's a two-hit KO, but not with terrain. Does close combat knock out here? Let's go! Let's go, baby. Okay, comeback season. Okay, 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 and we have Flutter in the back versus Hands Rillaboom with Lando here. Oh my god, he has Ice Punch. And just like that, we can still lose. <laughs> just like that, we can still lose. Oh my lord. This is the story of my life, actually. This is so insane, because now he has Grassy Terrain Control. Oh, boy. Buddy, man, that really hurts. <laughs> that is so infuriating. Why are you Ice Punch? Why? I won this game. All right, how many turns of Grassy Terrain? Last turn of Grassy Terrain. Okay, okay. We're okay with a double protect here. We're okay with a double protect. Um, So what's the win condition? Wicked Blow, Dazzling Gleam. Wicked Blow, Dazzling Gleam picks up hands. Because, do you, there's no way he has, so he goes for Fake Out into Urshifu. Are you Heavy Slam? I'm starting to think this guy is just not Heavy Slam. Yeah, he's not Heavy Slam, but he Wild Charges Flutter. Um, I mean, Urshifu, does Urshifu always beat Rilla? Does Flutter always beat Rilla? Oh man, this is tough, this is tough, this is tough. So, I think I Wicked Blow, and... Dazzling Gleam the Rilla. Uh, cause double gla- Dazzling Gleam. Oh, but what if the Rilla has Protect? What if the Rilla has Protect? He can't Protect because- Yeah, yeah, he can't Protect. Um, do I just double? Dazzling Gleam. Oh, if that doesn't pick up, dude. Okay, I'm doubling the Rilla. This could be so bad, but I think it's fine. Okay. Dazzling Gleam would have picked up here. Okay, who are you wild... The thing is, is whoever he wild charges, it's gonna do recoil. Okay. Flutter's gonna live. Yes! Yes! Let's go, Flutter! Let's go, Flutter! Alright, Wicked Blow... And Moonblast. Let's go, dude. Whew. Sweat off of my chest. What a game. I was so mad at myself for not making that turn one read. I don't know why I changed my mind there. But you know what? We made some aggressive trades. We got the win in the end. GG's to my opponent. My opponent actually played out of their mind. Lando went crazy. Urshi went crazy. This team is crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, man, those are some good games. Yeah. Alrighty, gamers. I hope you guys enjoyed those games. That was a lot of fun. I threw. I absolutely threw in the last game. And we were still able to pull out a win. Thanks to Lando I and Urshifu shenanigans. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys leave a like, a comment, a sub. It means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. I already said that, right? I'll hire an editor uh, to, to edit this. Because I can definitely afford an editor. I can afford that. Yeah.